sixth grade, module four, lesson 17, classwork. So these are just a bunch of exercises where what they want us to do is write the um, phrase or sentence that they give us as an expression. We're using numbers or variables or whatever we need to use. So station one or number one says the sum of A and B. So sum tells us that we're going to be adding. If we're adding A and B, it would be A plus B. Number two, five more. So five more means we're adding. Then twice, so two times, a number C. So we have two times a number C and five more than that. Or two C, two times C plus five. Or you could reverse the order. Or you could have five plus two C. Number three, Martha bought D number of apples and then ate six. So if she ate them, that means that she doesn't have them anymore. So she had D apples and then she ate six. So we need to subtract six for the number of apples that she ate. All right, station two, number one, 14 decreased by P. So decreased by tells us that we're subtracting. So we'd have 14 minus P. Number two, the total of D and F, so the total of, if we're adding up D and F, we'd be adding them. So D and F divided by eight. We want to make sure we keep D plus F together, and then we're going to divide it by 8. Or you could write it as D plus F over 8. Those are the same thing. Number 3, Rashad scored 6 less than 3 times as many baskets as Mike. Mike scored B baskets. So he, Rashad scored 6 less, so that's going to be subtracting 3 times. So three times as many baskets as Mike, that would be B, so 3B, and then six less. 3B minus six. Station three. The quotient, that means division, of C and six. So we'd have C divided by six, or you could write it as C over six. Triple the sum of X and 17. So we want to triple the sum of x and 17, that means we're going to add x plus 17, but we're going to keep it together. And we want to triple it, so three times that. Gabrielle had b buttons, but then she lost six. So she had b, but then she lost six, so minus six. She took the remaining buttons and split them equally among her five friends. So we have b minus six, so that's how many she has now. We want to keep those together. And if she splits them, that's dividing them equally among five friends. Or you could write it as b minus 6 over 5. Station 4, d doubled. So doubled means 2 times d, so 2d. Number 2, 3 more than 4 times a number x. So three more would be plus three, then four times a number x. So four times x, and then three more. Four x plus three. Or you could switch the order. Doesn't matter. Number three, Mally has C pieces of candy. She doubles the amount of candy she has and then gives away 15 pieces. So she has C pieces, she doubles that, so 2C, doubles the amount of candy and then gives away, so minus 15 pieces, 2C minus 15. Station five, F cubed. So cubed means to the third power, so we'd have F to the third power. Number two, the quantity of four increased by A we have 4 increased by a plus a. And then the sum, so we want to find this first. The sum of that is divided by 9. Or you could write it as a fraction, 4 plus a over 9. And number 3, Tay earned 4 points fewer than double Odin's points. 
Odin earned P points. So it earned four points fewer, so it's going to be minus four, whatever we get, than double Odin's points. So double Odin's points. So two times Odin's points minus four. 2P minus four. And the last station, station six, the difference, so difference means subtract between D and eight. So D minus eight. Six less than the sum of D and nine. So first we need to do, find the sum of D and nine, and then six less than that. Adeline has X pants and S shirts. She combined them and sold half of them. So she combines them and then sells half. So we could do X plus S, and then we could find half of them. So we could divide that by two, or you could also find one half of X plus S. So either way, you could also write this one as X plus S over 